Okay. Uh, welcome, guys, um, to my next video. Today I'll be tying a, a fly like this one, or like this one, the green one. And it's a fly based on on Ove Monra's uh, Brenda, but it's not exactly the same as Brenda. Uh, but this is the way I tie it. And um, they are pretty nice um, on the coast in Denmark. So, we'll have a go at it. First off, the materials are, are very, very simple. Um, I'll use this one, the Arex, Arex NS10, uh, 110 streamer hook, salt water hook, size 6, and um, also you'll use some uh, rooster tackle. And some, uh, I don't know if this is actually Rainbow Supreme Dub, I think it is. It's a Rainbow Supreme Dub. That's what I use. Um, but let's get started. And it's uh, pretty easy to tie. First off, we take the tying thread, just cover the of the hook. And I always uh, make sure to cover pretty much the whole shank. It's uh, just because it's much easier to, um, to tighten the materials on it when it's not that slippery after you put some tying thread on it. So, um, <clears throat> After doing that, we take this uh, a bit of the dub and just to make the tail, and depending on how big you like, you prefer to have it, um, find the right size. For you, for me, it's I like the tail to be a little filling. Tie a loose turn or two. Make sure you've got the same the right length for it. Tie it down. And uh flip it over. And you get a little extra silk to it. Like so. And then we take the first tackle with the blank side out. Split it up. Tie it in. It's easier if you wet in the fingers a little bit. I'll just make a deep turn here. Cut the excess feather off. Just move the tying thread. And when you Heckle the feather around, make sure to pull, and you can use a heckle, uh, I don't know, twister or whatever it's called in English. It's, uh, it makes it easier to control. And every, every turn I like to just wet my fingers with a little spit and make the turns nice and tight. Pulling them backward.
like so. I'll give it one more turn here. Just tie it up. Left off. Now you can put more or less heckle on it, depending on how much fill you want to the heckles to have. I prefer it like this, not not too heavy on the on the heckle. And after that, you start dubbing a little dub on the line. And here it's you know it's it's just to make it fill a bit. Like so. Maybe just a bit more. And you really don't need uh, a whole lot of it. Just very slight amount. It's, it's, it's <laughs> very little uh, materials that you, I use for this fly. Um, And now it's time for the second second boost to heckle. Same as the first one. <laughs> Wet my fingers and try not to swallow too much material. Split it up like so. Just pull back on that. Put the blank side out. A loose turn. Just to tighten it down. Cut off the axis. And as I said, this is not the correct way to tie the brenda, but this is the way I do it, and it works very, very well. And the reason it's called a brenda fly is that I understand it. It's actually named after Brenda in Beverly Hills 902 something. I can't even remember. 90210, I think so. And the heckle, the same way as earlier, pulling back every time. Pull back the heckle. I'll make the second one a li little more point, usually. You can see we've got some rogue ones here. And tie it off. And that. Off the axis, tie the rest down. Be happy with that. And the same step as we did on the first part. Oh, on the first part. And it's easier to take a little bit of dubbing and not a huge bundle at once. Then you can build it up slowly, one by one. So. It's easier to add a little dub than take off a little dub.
like so. And then we take the last tackle, last tackle, and split it like we did the last time. And do a loose, loose turn to get it in place. Of the axis. Like so. Take the heckle tweezers. And like the last time. And I, it, I, don't, I can't remember if I said it once, but it, I always wet my fingers with a little spit and that just seems to make the heckle easier to work with to get it backwards. And if if you're gonna try the Brenda one or the Brenda's mother's version, there's all oh, very strict rules to what col what color it can be and stuff. So I really don't mind. I, I like this one with the olive one, olive uh, heckle. It's supposed to be ginger red the heckle, but I like I had a great success with the one here with the olive heckle. I'll just flip it all over. And it's time for the wet finish. And that's it. That's really seriously it. It's very, very easy to tie and very, very effective. What you can do is you can put some weight on the, I believe on the right brenda, on the true brenda, it has a little weight in front to make it have a jigging move but the one called Brenda's Mother Doesn't. Now, I tie this in the olive colors, and I tie it with this ginger rooster hackle as well. But, you can also, if, if you've got, I mean, I mean, fantasy is the best thing you can have when you tie flies. And I also use the same kind of dubbing, ice dubbing, with, not ice dubbing, but I can't remember what kind of dubbing it is, but it's the same as the rainbow dub, but it's in white. And it's, uh, if you use the white one and tie it the same way with a pink heckle, rooster heckle on it, it's a perfect winter fly. So that's it, guys. My version. And it can look like a shrimp, it can look like a small fish, and for sure the Danish sheep trout will love it. So, anyway, cheers guys, I hope you liked it. I'm sorry if I'm sweating like a pig, it's very hot in here. Cheers, tight lines out there.
as I said before guys um, just to show you normally I tie it with this color the ones you just saw in the video uh, with this color olive and as I said in the video you can tie a winter one uh, I like this one as well to, during the winter months it's just uh, the same kind of dubbing just white and pink hack, uh, rooster heckles well it's a, a really nice buy this one only has two heckles whilst the other uh, two has three heckles you can do this for three heckles only your imagination is your limit so pretty much you should be limitless cheers guys